Horowitz of Average Joe Options joins us on the show this morning. Todd, you have been a tape fighter. We have the Dow well above 15,000. The S&P showing a breakout here. How do you like this market now? <laughs> Good morning, Angie. Well, you know, if you really look at the tape overall, where we've been in the last 10 weeks is in consolidation. We're in wide sweeping consolidation, but still in kind of the consolidation just the same. We haven't taken out a new high yet. We're just up at these next level of ranges, 15.3 in the Dow, 16.85 in the S&P. And that's where we are. In the meantime, we sit waiting for the Fed to decide what they're going to do. What do you think the market would look like this week if it was minus Apple? Apple has been falling since that announcement. Well, think about this, Angie. Apple's been falling since last October. It's down about 40% of its value. What would the overall market look like? I don't think it really matters. It only really matters to the NASDAQ, and the NASDAQ is on about 14-year highs. So it really hasn't even affected the NASDAQ. Coming up later in the show, we're going to talk about that blockbuster bond sale by Verizon. Would you buy these bonds? Yeah, I think Verizon's solid. I mean, I like Verizon, the stock. I like their bonds. I like everything about them. I think they're very solid, and I think it's a great investment for the average average Joe. Anything else you'd buy right now? Uh, no. I'm, I, I, I'm looking at natural gas stocks, but really, I really think it's really time for investors to be neutral and on the sidelines as this market turns around waiting to hear what Ben Bernanke and the Fed have to say next week. Thank you, as always, for your thoughts. Thank you.